everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a bit of a update on my recovery where i'm at i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this on the whole i'd say i'm okay i am struggling quite a bit obviously i'm six months in now to recovery and it's hard i'm fully weight restored i'm like physically i am okay obviously now and as we all know anorexia is not a weight disorder it's not a physical disorder it's a mental disorder obviously it was so so tough having to gain the weight at when i was weight restoring however i knew i had to and i knew it was sort of in the back of my head well if i have to gain weight permission was there which obviously you don't need permission to gain weight i feel like in society it's such like a demonized thing to gain weight when in reality the weight that was needed to gain was to get me healthy however in my head it's like any gain any weight gain and obviously with anybody else who's troubled that thought of gaining weight is the worst thing in the world when in reality it's the thing that's most needed now obviously i'm at my set point i'm weight restored i am at a point where i'm physically stable for anybody who's also struggled will know that the word healthy for somebody who's struggling with anorexia is such a difficult thing and it's so strange because obviously any well person does not want to be sick the grace in deep down wants to be healthy and wants to survive at, at, from this and wants to get better however it's those days when anorexia take ho takes hold because anorexia as i've said before literally wants to kill you anorexia does not want to be healthy and so those days where it takes control and it's a stronger voice and those days where I'm struggling more, it does overrule my voice and tell and convinces me that I don't want to be healthy. So it's it's hard some days that I've physically restored, but then other days when I'm feeling stable and I'm feeling okay, I'm so happy. And I know deep down that all the time, I'm so happy that I physically restored. Now the mental work has got to come, obviously, with my therapy it's going quite well i'm still obviously under an eating disorder service i'm nowhere near from getting discharged which it is overwhelming the amount of work to do to get better however it's such an amazing service that i'm under and i literally could not recommend them enough they're helping me so much it's derbyshire eating disorder service if anybody is ever wondering a place to go if you're not if you're not knowing where to turn to i'll link their website below but my therapy at the minute it is difficult it's it brings a lot of things to the surface i think it's made me realize that anorexia is not me and it's helped me separate those two voices it's made me realize that no actually it is an illness that it's not you thinking those thoughts and so to be able to detach it and work through a way to get better to get away from those thoughts it is really helping me and it's made me realize that other voice it has been a coping mechanism for things that have gone on in the past but with the therapy side so i'm obviously working through there's certain modules in therapy that you work through to get better and they have like certain points and i'm currently on the third module i think i don't know how many mod modules there is but I've done the, obviously the weight restoring where I got to my set point and then we've done the regular eating. I've worked through regular eating and got that now and feel okay with that and basically know that I have to. <laughs> and so the module that I'm on right now is the body image module and it is really interesting. It's crazy how different I see my body than to what it actually is. Obviously the body dysmorphia part of anorexia is very strong for me and I don't know if this I'm not educated enough to say whether I don't know if this is something that everybody deals with with body dysmorphia but if you don't that's okay and you're still valid I never want I'm always so scared of triggering anything so I always just want to say like this is just my experience and I never want to like make anybody feel like they're not valid you are always valid but we did a task last week which was crazy and 
basically I had to put on the wall post-it notes of how I saw my body and then I stood where the post-it notes were and I put where I actually was. It's insane. Just how different my brain makes me see myself and it was really like an eye-opening thing that oh actually yeah anorexia does lie <laughs> you know so we're on the body body image module i think we've got about two weeks left of that and then the next one is sort of challenging rules because obviously anorexia has a massive rule book and it's probably one of the things that keeps you stuck in it because it creates so many rules and the next module is obviously challenging those rules so that'll be sort of like food rules that i've created for myself it's like behaviors that i've created and also fear foods which i'm terrified for i'm really 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 scared and it makes me so i don't know why i'm getting emotional right now but i'm just really scared about that however it's what i need to do to get better i think I feel like I'll look back at this video um, I, in a few months and be like, it was so worth it, like, challenging the fear foods. And I know it's worth it, I know it always is going to be, and I know I need to do that to fully recover, and I want to fully recover, I want full food freedom. However, it is absolutely terrifying, and obviously nobody, not everybody who struggles with an eating disorder has fear foods it's just a symptom of my eating disorder so if you don't struggle with fear foods that is absolutely okay and you're still valid it will free me up a lot i think with the content side of things like posting on my instagram and on here and tiktok it's sort of been difficult because i want to post about my recovery however i have felt a bit stuck the past few months you might have noticed i don't know but it's sort of, I've not gone back, I've not restricted or I've not under eaten in any way or started counting calories again. However, I've just not moved forward. I think, it, is it quasi recovery? I, I don't know. So I've been sort of stuck in that for, I don't, I'd, for a few months I'd say. Obviously I started recovery in April. I did think I'd be further along than I am right now, but then I knew I need to, like my therapist and occupational therapist keep reminding me, I've done a lot and I've got a long way from where I was and so it's that perfectionist side like wanting it to be perfect when in reality recovery isn't perfect it's not linear and it's never going to be linear it's trying to say to myself no you're doing okay I mean me and my mum have got a meal out next month that was booked a while ago and I'm terrified I'm absolutely terrified for it because I've not eaten out in such a long time and you know that Mamma Mia the party in uh, I think it's in, in London and it's got a meal and a Mamma Mia show and it'll be so good because me and my mum love Mamma Mia, we love Greece obviously we went this year and it's something we've wanted to do for so long and I want to enjoy it, I want to get my life back and I want to be able to not miss out on any more of life because of an eating disorder i want to get better however it's just to get that that push to get to there is the most scary thing and there's so many goals that i've got for say like this year i want to be able to drink on new years i want to be able to have a takeaway with my boyfriend i want to be able to go out for a meal with my boyfriend for i mean it's our one year anniversary in december and i want to be able to go out for a meal with him for that i want to be able to just do stuff that a normal teenager does and right now i can't and i'm not living the life that i want to live basically i am struggling but it's okay not to be okay with content i feel like i don't know what it is i'm struggling because i have a tendency to think that i'm not good enough it's or, and obviously it links in with what's going on. My self-worth is very low and my self-esteem is very low. And I always think I'm not good enough. And for some reason my head's putting it, putting that into my content now as well. And I'm so scared of triggering people that I feel like I'm really holding back on what to say. And because of my OCD, I think I overthink a little bit too much. I am loving creating content around my recovery and I am going to make my content a bit more recovery 
focused I think I think because I've been quite stuck the past few months I've sort of not known what to post about my recovery because nothing new's come of it if you know what I mean because I've been quite stuck I think one thing I'm struggling with the most at the minute is resting being productive I really struggle with giving myself mentally that rest obviously I don't exercise right now obviously I do want to exercise in the future but obviously it's not the right time right now however mentally I really struggle with resting and always on the go with things that I need to do to do list after to do list and saying I need to do this 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 I'm never just letting myself to think have a day off that is non-existent to me and I need to learn that that's okay and that's a normal thing and our bodies need rest mentally and physically because mentally if we don't rest we'll burn out physically if we don't rest we'll burn out I keep on pushing because I feel like I'm not doing enough then if I keep pushing to keep doing stuff I'll end up burning out and then I'm not going to end up doing as much as I want to do because I'm burnt out if you know what I mean and I do feel like the past few days I've been very like worn out, I can't focus on things, I feel like I've got a million and one things to do when in reality I don't have anything to do, like basically just feel a bit all over the place. I need to learn that I need to rest <clears throat> and I'm excited for what will be coming in the future with the occupational therapist, obviously I only started it properly yesterday, I had my assessment yesterday. And, and so from next week I will be obviously starting that and I'll be able to update you all on that and I think that's basically just going to be focusing on like self-care and I always preach stuff on my Instagram and I need to take note of my own advice. I feel like I give advice out to people and I talk on my Instagram obviously how I would to a friend because you're all friends, we're all internet besties <laughs> and I need to take note of that because talk to yourself like you are a friend. You're the number one person in your life. Your body is literally keeping you alive. It's letting you do things. And so I need to treat it with kindness, how I would a best friend. Doing okay. Need to be, give myself a bit more self-love. Need to tell myself that I'm doing enough and I need to rest. Food-wise, obviously I'm eating enough. Basically sticking to safe foods. And I say safe like that because every food's every food is good there's no good and bad foods every food provides you with fuel every food provides you with nutrition and even the foods that are demonized in diet culture for no reason because diet culture has not got a nutrition degree it does not know a thing and i listened to diet culture and i ended up in the state i did against diet culture and eat the foods that it demonizes i'm healthy again you know like it's diet culture lies let's go against diet culture we are anti-diet culture over here i need to push past those safe foods and think increase my variety so that every food i feel okay with and we'll get there excited for the future of what to post what i'm going to be able to post when i'm challenging more just because i'm not making progress doesn't mean that i'm failing at recovery it just means i've struggled a bit it doesn't mean that I'm, fa I'm a failure because it is difficult. I'm recovering from something that has been such a big thing in my head and such like a deep-rooted illness, really. And I need to give myself a bit of compassion that you're doing okay. And I feel like I'm speaking to myself now. This is like a journal, not a journal. But I'm doing all right and... I'm gonna get there. There's no time limit on recovery. It's not gonna be linear. It's hard, but you're doing it. And we're getting there. Once I get through this, and once I do recover, my life is gonna be so incredible, and I'll be so glad. I'm never gonna regret recovery, ever, ever, ever. I'm so glad that I chose recovery. And if you're in a situation where you're still maybe struggling with the eating disorder, and you sort of holding back because you're scared of recovery and you're scared you'll regret it. I can promise you, you will not. I really, really promise you. Anorexia lies. Your healthy brain does not. And once you start fueling yourself and once you start getting back that nourishment, anorexia will die down. It will. It'll get quieter. It 
right now for me it is still there it, it's not as strong though and I can go against it and I can rationalize when it's anorexia and that is what comes with nourishment because your brain needs nourishment and you need all of the nutrients proteins carbs carbs especially so important fats so important protein honestly they're all so important and all your vitamins your hydration no your body doesn't crave foods and doesn't require foods for no reason you need all of the food that isn't said out there because they're there for a reason i've got a post on my instagram actually about all the food groups and what they do for you um i'll link that below as well just because diet culture says to cut out food groups or restrict your eating it's lies and when you make an industry that basically uses vulnerable people to make money and we don't like that we go against that i hate it so much and i'm sure a lot of other people will say the same as well on the whole doing okay ready for the future and i'm being compassionate with myself that recovery isn't linear and it's gonna be up and down but on the whole it will be okay and in the end we will be okay thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed watching uh, remember if you like content like this and you want to follow along on my recovery journey remember to click the subscribe button below and also if you click the bell you'll get notified every time that i post always remember you are enough and you are always valid and i'm always here for you lots of love